Someone's playing music downstairs. Hopefully that's not copyrighted. All right. Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, a.k.a. Mr. Everything. We are coming back at you with some Skyrim. Uh, I was going to play last night. Well, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't, it, it doesn't matter to you because this is uninterrupted gameplay. But yesterday we lost power here at the house and I didn't have power all day, so I couldn't play. We got power back today, so I'm going to play. Uh, but to get caught up, I think I need to get like two games in. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right. So <clears throat> these are some books that I have here that I just went ahead and put them on the shelf because um, I didn't want to carry them, right? Okay. So that's my personal house. <clears throat> now, what I need to do is go through my book collection and then <clears throat> maybe as I read them, put them on the shelf, right? That would be, that would be more, I don't know, appropriate or something. I don't know. Um, also, I've been thinking about leaving, um, Jordis here in the house and then just taking Lydia on our next quest. Um, yeah, the, okay, these are spell tomes. I think that's it. Boop, there's some three spell tomes. Okay, and, um, I didn't know there was a harp there. Info, not info, what am I trying to do? Journal. Okay, we did pick up the white file uh, in the last, <clears throat> when we were, we were picking up the, th okay, yeah, now I'm trying to remember. We were picking up the three items for the uh, girl in Riften. Get rid of those. Let's go here. Retrieve. Wait. She had a spoon, an ingot. She also had something else that she wanted us to retrieve, right? Spoon, an ingot. Okay, we have Ninroot now. We can bring that to her. Uh, I. I have a book that I can bring to Rustleaf. I think that's what we're going to... We're going to knock a bunch of these out today, I think is what we're going to do. And she had a third thing she wanted us to do. Oh, wait. Okay, it's those two things. I had already only done one. Okay. So what book should we read today, right? Um, Gentleman's Guide, we already read. A Fall from Glory. Galeron the Mystic. The Wisp Mother. Thief of Virtue. Twin Secrets. None of these are standing out or sticking out to me. Oh, we haven't read the Dragonborn book, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and read this one. <clears throat> you would think that we should have read this one first, right? Because it is the first book you run into in the game, I do believe. Okay, so let's read this. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Emmeline Madrine, Order of Talos, Wayne and Priory, Year 360 of the Third Era. 21st of the reign of his majesty Pelagius the fourth many people have heard the term dragonborn we are of course ruled by the dragonborn emperors 
but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear our hearts. And in this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh, when the blessed Saint Elysia was given the amulet of kings and the dragon fires in the temple of the one were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Elysia with this blood of dragons and made a covenant that so long as Elysia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and Undead to their enemies. The Daedra-loving Aelids, those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood, became known more simply as Dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cyrodiilic empire founded by Elysia remains Cyrodiil and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septim and his heirs, down to our current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim IV. Now remember, this was written in the last age. Because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service and the blessed Talos. Who was Tiber Septim? Very few realize that being Dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity, being the blessing of Akatosh himself. It is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing? Akatosh descended upon them. All that we can say is that it is both and neither a divine mystery. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrodiilic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that remain that that does say remain that Raman Cyrodiil was descended from Elysia although there are many legends that would make it so. Most of them dating from the time of Remen and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the blades, usually thought of as the emperor's bodyguards, originated in Akaviri crusades, or crusaders, who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late first era. They appeared to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events at Pale Pass bear this out, and the Akaviri were the first to proclaim Remen Cyrodiil as dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaviri who did the most to promote his standing as emperor, although Remen himself never took the title in his lifetime. And of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septim and any of the previous dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Speaking of which, the blades. Delphine, who's downstairs, I think I've kind of borked the quest by asking her to come to the house. So I'm going to tell her that she can leave because I bet she needs to be at 
the wall to uh, indoctrinate or induct the new blades. So by releasing her and going back, she'll take the orc and Serena back to the blades compound. I might be able to take a third follower to her. We're going to try that maybe later today. Okay, whatever there can be more than one Dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The Emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion. But of course, the Imperial succession itself means that, at the very least, there are two or more potential Dragonborn at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs. The history of the Blades also hints at this. Although little is known of their activities during the interregnum, I guess that's between kings, interregnum, between Renan's empire and the rise of Tiber Septum, many believe that the Blades continued to search out and guard those they believed were or might be dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being dragonborn. The connection with dragons is also obvious, that it has almost always been forgotten in these days when dragons are of distant memory. Remember, this is last age. We forget that the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers, able, able to steal the power of their dragons they killed. Indeed, it is well known that the Akaviri sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion. And there is some evidence that this continued after they be, became Remen Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons. The direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is known as the prophecy of the dragonborn. It often said to originate in an elder scroll, although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akaviri. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that its omens had been fulfilled and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of philosophy or prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gift to mortal kind was yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Okay, so I bet you the, I'm just, I, I'm just like guessing here. The world eater is probably Alduin, the black dragon that is going around waking up all of the other dragons. And I would be the last dragonborn. Interesting. I'm going to take it only so that I can not put it in the wardrobe. <laughs> oh, I put it on the shelf here and the extras went over there. Okay, let's put it up at the top. There it is. Okay. I have so many missions, so many quests. Okay, one of them is to tell her 
Helping. Yes, stop walking away from me. About Springwood. That's where we live right now. Thank you for your service. I will not, I won't need them anymore. Could you remove these leaves? I'd like to get rid of those, that huge organ. Nope. Right there. Boom. Then hopefully, it'll take her leave. And then eventually. May your weapons be sharp and your prey fresh. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so we got rid of that. Um, or we, we got that quest um, rolling. Okay, we're going to bring One Night Falls. Okay. And I'm going to take all my, the, my, my, two, my, my two perfect girls with me. The ones I'm in love with. I think who am I taking that book to? To Sentinel Rustleaf Swindler's Den. Sentinel Rustleaf. I thought he was the dude. I thought he was the blacksmith at Dawnstar. Okay, I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. <clears throat> He's a sentinel, though. That the enemy the will be whimpering for mercy. Give up while you still can. I was just going to walk past you, but you had to attack us. We'll take that lockpick. Okay, maybe we got to kill a bunch of people. But if he just wants me to bring him a book, why would they fight me? Ladies. All I did was block. I went boop and he died. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk around with my freaking sword out. Wait, what was that? I could have swore I just saw a, a treasure chest. It could be just the way these rocks look. Okay, whatever. And so I to battle. That's me. So I so rarely ever use a potion that I just find myself not even picking them up.
Oh, there, okay. You could have spread them a little bit wider. Or maybe that said retrieve the book? I thought it said deliver the book. Ever since I upgraded this weapon, it's like, whoa. There is a mod that lets Lydia loot bodies. That way I don't have to do all the looting. She can go around looting as well. The problem with that is, well, it, there, there wouldn't be a problem now that I can lock her outfit. Hold on, I can lock her outfit now. I might do, I might turn that mod on because I, I think it's part of her Lydia remaster or whatever it's called. And then she can pick all this stuff up. She just won't put it on because before she would like take off all of her clothes and walk around naked. Okay. I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going. Oh, this is a swindler's place. Crush them! Enough! Lydia loved that, not just liked. There she is. All right, we got the book. Let's get out of here. Or we could do that. <clears throat> Diamond. I need me more diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. They're a Nord's best friend, too. Oh, wait. Okay. Mouse got caught on my keyboard. This is the way we came in, right? So this is the way we go out. Right? Alrighty. Giants and stuff. Okay. Yeah, bring one night balls to Sentinel on Sentinel to Rustliff. Yeah, we're going to do all those things.
Okay, yeah. Dawnstar, bring. That's what I thought. Okay, okay. This was go get and then bring. And by the time we get there, it is morning. Who is that? You're probably locked. Oh, you're open. Okay, go. Can I'm, I help you? I'm back after like two weeks. I'm here to see Rusty. I traveled far and wide when I was younger. Glad to have settled down finally. Don't know what the Red Guards see in books, but this will make my Saren happy. Thank you. Let me show you some tricks around the forge. Nice. Okay. These two seem to be patrolling around. Okay, I think. Oh, what's this? Retrieve an ingot. Okay, let's do it. Before I go back to Ripton, I'm going to get those two items. I already picked up the soul gem or whatever it was. Okay, now this inn, I think, has got the, is borked on the inside. So, we're going to have to figure it out. Hopefully it's... Kraldar's family was once very powerful in Winterhold. It's my know. honor to assist him even now. See, look at that dude. Okay. It is... Not trying to wake you up. Trying to figure out how to get that ingot. It looks like it's in the wall. <clears throat> yeah, I'm using T Cliff's um, Winter Hold or something like that. If there's anything you need. Just let me know. Yeah, I need that ingot. Oh. Okay, so this quest is going to be borked unless I maybe get rid Just all that business with Mallet. So get rid of the updated winter hold. I think I'll do that. I mean, I like the look of this winter hold, except for a few things. 
Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to save right here. I'm going to remove the mod, and then I'll be right back. All right, I am giving up. I've tried a couple of different things, and none of them worked. So we're just going to use my technique to advance the story, but but I'm actually going to work a little bit on... Uh, we can't get the ingot, but there are other things we can get. Okay, there should be a dragon up here we have to kill for the Riften girl. And bring the Nin root. Retrieve the spoon. Okay, let's go get the spoon. And then... Uh, and then I'll cheat. I don't know why Winterhold has given me so much trouble through this playthrough. That's okay. That's okay. What do you need, Bard? What do you need, Bard? Need a spoon. Looks like it's snowing. And most we deal with no. and drugs and brawls. It's been too long since we've had a good brand of day. Uh the door's locked. Okay. Well, we'll come back. Um, there's a dragon up here. I'm going all over the place. That's another thing. I need to follow up with the Dawn Guard. But I think to do that, I need to take Serana's mission. Which I, I think I'm going to do today, but. Okay. Dragon's up there, right? if we can't find a way up, ladies. Okay. I never thought I would run Towards spiders. This land needs watering with the blood of our foes. We Dang. shall prevail. There are a lot of spiders here. Now that looks a little steep. So we're just going to kind of swing our way around until we can figure out how to get up there. sort out because it might be spiders.
Nah, I don't think we're going to make it here, ladies. This might become... Well, maybe not. I think it might be too steep. Suck it, dragon. Now that is the dragon, but we're not just gonna kill the dragon and not investigate his little lair. We gotta try to figure out how to get up there. I think I personally can climb up there, maybe. That's how I get the girls to join me. There's a cave right here. Or a whisper. Fortune favors the prepared even more than the brave. Nice. 
like a little campsite or something up here. Somebody spent some time building these houses. Now I'm curious, what is this cave? Is this how we get up here? This might be how we get down. Um, hello, skeleton. Death to those who oppose us! Ebony! Close, tortoise. Okay, I'm having a little animation issue here. That what Ebony does to you? Okay, there's talk to her. Yeah, I can't, can't zoom in. I'm right behind you. You lead. I'll follow. Jordis, you got in my way. I'm trying to mine this ore. Okay. Oh, there's a trap right there. I'm glad I didn't... Okay, watch this. F5. F5. Escape. Load the mine. Stay back, Jordis. Violent combat. While in combat, huh? There we go. Now we got it. How much ebony work can I get out of that? Well, however many it is, it's a good amount. Okay, so there's skeletons and ebony in here. We must 
must not fail in this struggle. I must have already read that one. Ooh, I'm gonna be Ebony Rich. I've been thinking about making a another set of Ebony Armor. Uh, of course, the Dragon Knight Armor, but maybe not the shiny one, maybe the actual Black Ebony one. I've been thinking, maybe. Wait a second. Is this ebony ore? No. But that would have been cool if it was. Okay, so now I know what ebony ore, my, you know, mineable ebony ore looks like. I didn't have any idea what it looked like. <clears throat> but now I see that it's not like a completely black rock. It's gray. Also, I've been thinking about using a two-handed weapon. Mainly just to level up. Where the hell are we? We are way up in the mountains. Okay, but what is that other thing she needed? Retrieve her spoon. Okay, right, right, right. I can't get the ingot. Go back there and try to get that spoon. You would think they'd be closed right about now. Or maybe they're not a shop. Maybe they're in their home now. Maybe they lock the door when they go out and work in the field. Yeah, look at that. You're the daughter that might come with me, right? Okay. Looking for a spoon, right? Oh no, maybe her satchel. Oh, it's in the spoon. Okay. Thank you. about a room if I were you sure thing it's yours for a day I'll show you to your room right this way 
pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Let me know if there's anything else you need. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Nice. I heard Pemba yelling at you yesterday. Why do you let her treat you like that? If you'll pardon the expression, she's far more bark than bite. Perhaps. But abuse is abuse. I don't think I could stand it. There's much more to worry about in life than a bit of temper, my friend. I haven't heard this one in this game. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Wilhelm. Need a room? Maybe a drink? I just paid. I just paid you for a room. This beggar might better stay out of my room. Okay. Just enough so that when we get started in the morning, <clears throat> there won't be all the spooky monsters out at night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is a good time to get started. Oh, Raider, Raider, you live among the clouds now, dear Raider. Narpy, you're crazy. I see a painting. Pardon me. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. All right. Nope, we're out of here. Okay, I'll let you know. Ever. Okay, so we are going to make the big jump to Riften. I'm going to turn in whatever quests I can and then between sessions I'm going to bump that quest the one where I picked up all the spoons and the, everything else I'll bump that up one level because because winter well winter hold or whatever is borked bork borkington okay Let's start with How can the humble servant of Taro take her? No. Still too early in the morning. Okay, gotcha. Still too early in the morning, nobody's awake. Do you sleep back here? Okay, can I disenchant something? Nope. I know you. Where was it? Huh. Oh, you were getting something for me. Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. I'm done. Okay, I guess you won't take what I've got. Have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? It's a quest item and it probably won't let me drop it. Can't hmm. remember. Okay, so I might cheat by adding that quest item okay that's probably what we're gonna have to do because if I progress the quest I'm gonna have these items on me forever and I won't be able to drop them
Uh, well, it didn't advance very far, so who else do I need to see here? Ninroot, Collect Bounty, Windladra, Why, We, Landria, okay. Return to Brenya. Okay, we could do that too. Okay, I think I've got all the quests. That's a forge. I need a smelter. I don't think you would have one inside, but maybe you do. I do. Oh. Have you met Balam? I'm his apprentice. Who are you, dude? You're teaching me all about being a blacksmith. Well, let me talk to him. Keep pulling your knife out. And your name is Thief. Need something? Yeah, I was trying to like figure right, out. Okay, so you're just part of the Thieves Guild probably. But yeah, that's a good view, but you're in the way. Okay. Um, I don't see a smelter. There's just a random guy called Thief. <laughs> okay, well, I've got Medesi's ring. I should probably get it and bring it to him and say, here, I found this. I don't know if that's something you're allowed to do. You see those warriors from Hammerstein? No, they got round, they got curved swords. Yeah, I know, I know. Curved, curved swords. Oh, people are waking up. Nice. I want to collect my a bounty. I know you. Where was it? Yeah, I'm going to get your ingot eventually. Oh. You were getting something for me. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. Excellent. You've done us a great service. You know that's Here's right. Here's your reward. Word. Yeah, five hundred. Uh, I can accept. Mother. You're welcome in How long must we? Oh, yeah, we got. I don't know what a whisper does. Your voice is not a shot, but a whisper. Life forces. As long as Sailor and spouting his nonsense about the Empire. What would you have me do? Send him to the gallows for treason? He's your brother, Harag. I'm trying to do quite a bit of work around Ripton so that she might consider me as a Thane. Yes. Nothing. Hey, companion. Hey, how you doing? They seem to be open. I got your Nin route. Maybe you need. I knew you'd come for me. Ah, yes, excellent, Sam. Come for Thank you? Me. This coin should compensate you for all the bother. Did you want to come with me? I have a house. I'd like to spend a few days? Of course. 
Okay. I'm all about it. Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Really? Okay. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Don't be a stranger. Oh no, I won't. There's a back door. Hmm. Come on, Lydia, let's go get married. Nope. Ah, you girls are stuck. Okay, I'll teleport. <laughs> Blessings of Mara upon you. How may I help you, my son? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Okay, who do I talk to about getting married? Hmm? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Marma. Denya uh, Balu, okay. All right, Den, where are you at? There Lady you are. Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? I am. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead, the woman, Fast read. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay. Not exactly what I thought we were going to do here, but it's good. This is what we're going to do in I'm going to buy a, I'm going to buy one of those amulets. How may I help you, my son? Lost the last I, one I gave you? Yeah. <laughs> Very well. There you are. Mara, keep you. That's right. I know I already had one, may but... Oh, nine ore. Cool. I'm going to start wearing this. Turn to her benevolence and safety. 
And that'll let people know that I'm looking to be married. Right? 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 That's that's what I understand. And Blessing of Mara. Okay, um Yeah. This is where we're gonna call it. I'm gonna call it right here. Um we're gonna go we're actually gonna go help that girl in Iverstead. She's just at the other end of the lake. I think. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to see what I can do about that quest. Uh, and then we'll be right back. All right. I'll catch you in the next one.